Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. So, it's a quick review of this laptop that I've got here. It's a MS, MSI 14 inch uh, GS43VR. It's uh, really packed with a lot of great features. One of the great things about having a relationship with B&H Photo is if I need something and I only need it for a few days or something like that, I just call them up and they send it to me. Because um, my existing laptop, is about three years old um, and it just can't handle 4k footage not even like 1080 footage at 60p um, very well uh, in resolve and that's the NLE I've been using for the last about year so I wanted to get something a bit more beefy for a conference I was doing out in Brighton England uh, called Shadows and Light and I was doing a demonstration with the laptop, just connect HDMI up to this big projector. And I knew that my existing laptop just was not gonna cut it. So I got this one in from B&H. And that's the great thing about B&H. I just, I just wanted to use it for a few days and send it back and hopefully not fall in love with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? This one comes in around fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars um, which is about the same what I paid three years ago for my other laptop. But this one just blows the doors off my existing laptop. It's got a GTX uh, 1060 with six gig of RAM in it. Some of the other specs, it's got a i7-7700 quad core, 16 gig of DDR4 RAM. It's got two separate drives, an SSD and a one terabyte hard drive. And it's got a 14 inch 1080 display. The display is pretty good. Uh, again, this, I am not a professional reviewer of laptops, so I'm just gonna do this pretty quick, but basically, it will play 1080 footage uh, from XAVC codecs on the Sony cameras, fantastic, in Resolve. Not only 12.5, I tried it in 12.5, um, and I would uh, cursor around, especially with the blade tool, and uh, it was pretty responsive. Now, when you get to Resolve 14, it was even better. Um, I was able to install both of them on here. Now, with 4K footage, XAVCS footage from like a, a you know, Alpha 6500. Um, it did pretty well, uh, surprisingly well. It'll play 24 frames per second. But when you go to cut something um, and then you hit play again within that clip, um, it will have a lag of about four seconds in Resolve 12.5. And I notice in Resolve 14, that lag time was more down to like two seconds. So there's definitely a, a fairly decent improvement. Now, if you just hit play and let it go, um, it'll do 24 frames a second, no problem. Um, it's just when you're cutting and editing that you'll run into that kind of lag. Um, now, Premiere Pro, I imagine would work even better on this laptop because that doesn't seem to have that kind of laggy type of issue. All right, now I've turned on the laptop. Um, I wanna talk about acoustics or I guess fan noise, basically you could say. Um, you can see my microphone is um, right here for me and it's like maybe that far away from where you might be hearing some of the fan noise. Um, so what I'm going to do right now it's probably at the, the fan is at its lowest setting. I don't think it ever turns off from what I've seen using it for the last couple of weeks. I'm just going to be quiet for a few seconds just so you have a idea of the base of how loud this will get. And that's one of the things I don't like. Um, I mean, I love the size of 14 inch. Here, let me kind of hit play and then I'll talk as we go along. So now I'm, I'm playing 4K footage on a 1080 timeline within Resolve. And after a few seconds, I don't hear it yet, but it should start to kick up and make some noise. Here, I'm gonna go full screen, see if that does anything different. Here it goes. starting to ramp up a bit. But basically what I was gonna say is um, 13 inches is just too small, the screen's too small. 15 inches is too big, because then they usually start packing even more stuff, even bigger graphics card. And maybe the 15 inches might be um, quieter, because they have more area or room for it to dissipate heat. So for me, 14 inches has been great. And actually, as you can hear, I'm just gonna be quiet for a second. It's definitely ramping up. Now I've gone ahead and I've cut an entire piece. It was actually some of the footage. It was just a personal video of mostly me and my wife um, doing a cruise uh, down the, I can't remember what the river is called, 
uh, the Th Thames, I don't remember how they pronounce it, uh, through London. You can see it's ramping up even higher now. And uh, it performed fantastic. All right, so now I'm actually rendering within Resolve and it's going along at about 30 frames per second, 28, 30 frames per second. You can see it's ramping up a bit hotter. And now it's getting louder. If I, in terms of heat, where I put my fingers um, kind of above the keyboards, above the function buttons, it does get pretty toasty. Um, again, I haven't been editing with this for like an hour. I'm just rendering. And I'd say this is about almost as loud as it gets um, during your rendering. So the editing process, it wasn't too bad. Rendering, obviously, you can walk away and you don't have to listen to the fan noise. But I've done other laptops. I'm going to go ahead and quit this. And it should start to cool down a little bit. Now, I've done other reviews of laptops, and I remember I had one that sounded like a jet plane taking off. So it wasn't very easy to edit with that something like that. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to talk about this, um, and I'm really happy with it. And I'm like, man, should I pick one up? Because it's like $1,500. Bucks. Um, I really like it. Uh, but I don't know if I'll pick one up quite yet because I don't use the laptop cell that often when I'm out in the field. I usually will take and dump stuff to the computer, but I won't actually edit on it. But if I had something like this, I would probably start editing when I got home, just export that um, file, basically bring it into the, this computer over here and then do the editing. So I'm tempted to buy it. But uh, if anybody else has a laptop kind of in this 14 inch range, with these similar specs, like 16 gig of RAM, you know, two drives, uh, definitely the GTX 1060, because that works amazing. And like I said before, you couldn't do any of this stuff two or three years ago with the laptops were out then. At least I don't think you could, but today with these new GTX 1080 cards that are built into the computer, it's pretty amazing. All right, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.